Well, it makes sense that January is National Soup Month, and a homemade pot of soup can be very comforting on a cold January day. Oh, it's straight up soup city, soup it season. Is. It's go this time. The weather, the rain, the snow. Jasmine not Stringer. Not feeling well. You love soup. I love mm -hmm. soup. Well, and I love the cook. So this is right up my alley, and you know, there's nothing easier than pulling out a crock pot, putting some ingredients in, and coming home to something tasty, Smells warm, so good. and comforting. All right, you have three so, soups. You three made, right? soups. The first soup right here goes back to the trend that we discussed last week about alternative proteins. So this is a lentil soup, and it kind of plays on well with that meatless Monday, meatless Wednesday. If you're doing like a meatless day in your family, mm -hmm. basically dry lentils, chicken stock, carrots, and celery. A little garlic, salt and pepper, voila, you That's come it, home. Right? It looks hearty it? too. And it's very mm. hearty, and this is a great source of proteins, and lentils are super jam-packed with nutrients True. for your body. Very good. So this one is playing off of the Asian theme, and this is a lemon honey chicken. Ooh. Again, very easy. Chicken breast, three lemons with their lemon juice, lemon zest, honey, soy sauce, put a little chow mein noodles in it to take it to the Chinese restaurant and you have your own homemade Chinese dinner. This looks good, it smells so good Yeah, too, and right? they're warm so you can taste and I've got spoons there All for right. you. And so I was at a friend's gathering and they made this. How many people are doing like a taco salad night? I Love that's, it, that's right? That's one of my favorite. Tuesday. Yeah, it's Taco Tuesday. Interactive. Yeah. Yeah. You can have interactive. people, you can put whatever you but want But they on served it. a taco soup. So mm. it's not chili, it's taco soup. So what's the difference? It's ground beef, black beans, corn, tomatoes, salsa. You put, so it's everything that you would put in a taco, but in a bowl. Sounds like chili. But it's not chili. You put taco what seasoning. It? It's taco seasoning. So taco maybe that's seasoning. what it is. So it's a taco it seasoning, Mr. Foodie. I mean, that I mean, it takes it from being chili. I mean, you, don't put, you don't put the chili seasoning right, in. You put the taco, taco seasoning totally in. Totally and so different. it's a variation. I bet that's delicious. Do you put corn yeah. in your chili? Uh, not usually, but yeah. you can put whatever you want. I know, see? Yeah. It's America. Right. You can do whatever you really want. It's a hot want. debate right now. This is a taco, taco soup or chili. Right? Is, it, is chili a soup or is it a stew? Oh. Ooh. These are life's profound questions. That's a Facebook. That's a We're tweet, really, Jason. Oh, We're boy. really tackling the tough ones here. <laughs> I know. The good thing is you put this in in the morning and it, you put yeah. it on low. Is that you the put deal? them all on low? Yeah. You come home six to eight hours and low. you have something yummy on Love the that. table that you can eat yourself. You can serve it your, to your family. You can break it up and put it in freezer bags and yeah. you know, kind of Wonderful. portion control it. And I mean, like I said, this weather is what you want to have soup. It. And it sticks it. to the bones. This uh, is what we need. It provides warmth from right. the inside. Well, let's give people the recipes. You go to oh, WCCO.com yes. slash links. We'll get you to the recipes. We'll get you to Jasmine's blog. Great website. Uh, she talks about seizing the day. You can buy her book there as well, Carpe Diem with Jasmine. Jasmine, thanks for coming. Thank in. We you. appreciate it. All right, Kylie.